Chapter 19. A Bright New Era If a revolution of this magnitude in retail seems implausible, and you can't imagine a world where experiences become the primary source of retail revenue, I invite you to consider the economic transformation of the music industry. Twenty years ago, major recording artists made most of their revenue from record sales. In fact, musicians used to play live only to sell more records. Today, a mere 6% of the average recording artist's income is derived from record sales. 94% comes from other activities, not the least of which are live performances and appearances. The model has been completely reversed. So, too, will great retailers build more of their economic models with the idea of delivering and measuring live in-store experiences around their products rather than relying solely on the ever-diminishing margin from the sale of those products. Experiences will, in essence, become the product and the primary category that great retailers trade in. In the long term, the relationship between brands and retailers, which has for so long been adversarial, will be reinvented. There will be no more contentious buyer-vendor negotiations over product pricing, no playing hardball for incentives or marketing dollars, no penalties for brands that don't meet expectations. In the approaching retail media era, the retailer will no longer be the customer of the brand. On the contrary, the brand will become the client of the retailer. You heard that right. Retailers will work for their brands, and those who deliver results will command a fortune for doing so. Above all, shoppers will enjoy a new and remarkable landscape where retail is once again made magical where theater and technology combine to form outstanding and memorable moments, a bright new era of retail in which every shopping space is a flagship.